Streaming on one platform alone doesn't seem to be enough anymore. In this video, we will tell you how to stream on different platforms completely for free, as well as some secret tips on how to do so. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is open up the Reststream website. The link will be in the description below. So after you created your free account, you're going to be presented with this home screen. In this video, we're only going to be covering how to connect it to OBS or Streamlabs. So all you have to do is press this little button right here. And here on this blue button, add channel, you can go ahead and press it and add the accounts you want to stream to. Obviously, the free version only allows up to two different accounts. So in my case, I stream on YouTube and Twitch for you this might look differently if you want to stream on more you will need to pay for an account there's ways to bypass this you, you can get the obs plugin i don't cover the obs plugin because it only works for obs and i stream on streamlabs you can also buy streamlabs ultra and it will allow you to stream on different platforms the obs plugin might be free but it will take more resources off your pc whilst the streamlabs ultra and rest stream you rely on their services so your pc will won't be working way more to stream on different platforms. However, it does require more of your internet, so you need to make sure your internet's upload speed is good. Because if it's not, it might lag, your uh, bitrate might crash. It's best to have a good upload speed. So you can go ahead and link up your accounts, just press on it, and we'll take you to this page, you authorize, and do all that. So after you set up your accounts, you, they're gonna be here on the right. You can go ahead and press update titles, change this to whatever your title is, whatever you want it to be. The description, the game, you can write here the name type. I don't think it has many games here and I can never find my game. I can never find the game that I'm playing here. If you can, you can go ahead and put it and then you press update all and it will update the titles. I do see some problems for YouTube, which we will be covering in the next step. If you stream on YouTube, make sure to watch that. And now, how do we set this up on your streaming platform? You can go ahead and copy the stream key. Now you open up your software and go to settings on the left. Then you're going to press on stream and here you're going to select the service, which is rest stream. And you're going to change the stream key to the stream key you just copied, just paste it and you press done. So yeah, that's it's that simple. Now all you have to do is press on the go live button and it will go live on all the channels. All right, let's talk about your chat for a minute. You could just press this tab right here and all the messages from all the streaming platforms you're streaming to will pop up here. So you can just have this open and you can just read your chat from here. However, your viewers might be a little bit confused as to what messages you're reading because they can't see whatever the messages are on different platforms. So I always recommend using the chat overlay. I'm going to show you how to set this up. So the chat overlay is just going to be popping up on your screen with the chat from all the platforms. So you press here and you're going to copy this link. Now you go to your streaming platform, you go to sources, you're going to find browser source, add source and add a new source. So here, you're going to press the, the URL you just copied into here. Uh, this is up to you. You can choose whatever size you want. You just make sure that you leave refresh browser when scene becomes active on. Because then it won't refresh your chat. So you have to have this on. Then you can press close and you can set this up, whatever you want. Now, you can go back here and you can select the theme you want. And it's going to give you a little preview on the left. So I like comic, but you can have Fortnite Blue, for example, which shows what platform the message is from. PUBG one, there's tons of different themes you can use. I like the comic one. Message alignment top, or it can be bottom. So the new messages show up on the bottom or on the top. That's up to you. Message background opacity, that's the boxes. It forms like little boxes or not. That's up to you. This is just a big box of color, which I find it really tacky. I don't like it. And you can choose the size if you want them big letters smaller letters medium letters i like having this on 100 which is the default one so you can just set that up copy the link set it up on your streaming platform and that's gonna be it for the chat now problems that i've encountered while using rest stream so for twitch it works perfectly well i've had no problem with twitch you might need to go manually to twitch when you go to your channel you might need to edit the game you're playing to the actual game you're playing because it 
doesn't have that many options in the game scene rest stream, so you might need to go to Twitch and change the game manually there. So for YouTube, we have several problems. Uh, so pretty much the thumbnail is gonna be a, the default one, it's not gonna let you choose the thumbnail. And the title sometimes doesn't exactly match the rest stream one, like this uh, symbol here, it never puts it, I have to always add it myself afterwards. So you're gonna have to press on edit video when you start your stream, and you're gonna have to change the th these things, you're gonna have to add your thumbnail, the, the game you're playing and all that, and then you can go ahead and press save. It will also often say powered by rest stream, you can just delete that and save and it will disappear. But it's kind of annoying that you have to do this after you start your live stream. So I, I have a starting soon screen just to fix all these little bugs that rest stream has. But other than that, it works pretty well. Now, a little problem that I've encountered with YouTube is it was giving me a black screen. Uh, it didn't happen for Twitch. The Twitch one was going fine, but the YouTube one was showing the black screen. What I found solved that problem was changing the bitrate on Streamlabs. So you go to settings, output, and you change the bitrate to 6,000. I had it on 12,000 and it, for some reason, it made my screen black, so I had to change it to 6,000. But this seems to fix that bug. So yeah, that's something that you need to have in mind if you encounter these bugs. If you encounter other bugs, make sure to leave them out in the comments so I can see if I can find a solution for you. But uh, for a free platform and it's really practical, I honestly don't see why you wouldn't use them. Thank you so much for watching and if you liked the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe.